Hi guys, welcome to Team of the Week 4. This is a very tasty prediction for this week of the international break. So if you can smash the likes, guys, we much appreciate it. Sub the channel for new format to where it is legend. All the links are down below, guys. So let's jump in. In goals is Canarsis. Well, it's a very nice looking card for Udinese. He made 6 saves and 2 0 win last night for Greece. So, a very nice card for him. I would say if he gets an upgrade. Um, Savage, next, he got himself a goal and 5 0 win for Montenegro, who were very impressive to say the least. And I think this kind of looks a shoe in. Next to him, it's Abdenour of Valencia. Had a bit of a pace to upgrade, but still a very nice looking card. He got a goal and 2 0 win for them, eh, for Tunisia. And I would really say this card may get a nice little pace upgrade and the physical would get a nice boost too. Next to him is Seamus Coleman. This is a bit of a difficult one to call guys because there are some other good goal defenders in the mix. But Seamus Coleman, he got a goal for um, Ireland in the first game but he also played very well in the game in the 3-1 no uh, win. So I'm hoping that he might sneak in but it's hard to potentially say. And at left mid for this team, um, Arnautovic, he was very, very impressive for um, Austria against Wales. He got two goals in their 2-2 draw and he was been pretty solid, I would say, to merit this and he stood out. So I would say it's kind of a shoe in The card that I am really looking forward to seeing is a centre mid Eden Hazard, guys. This card could potentially be a striker. He got a goal and assist in the two games that were played, one in the second game with the uh, Gibraltar game, he absolutely was just amazing and I think this could be a shoe in for certain and the centre mid card, this could be almost as expensive as what Ren Ronaldo could be at striker. Next is Dusan Tadic guys, he played the left wing and got a goal and two assists in the 3 win and then done the exact same on the Sunday night game. So I would say for Serbia this could be a very nice upgrade, I think this could be an 82-83 rated card and kind of needs a bit of a boost, especially on the physical and the pace. Um, Thomas Miller, guys, this will be his kind of every year right mid card. Um, so just solid as a rock. But um, two goals in the 3 0 win um, on the start of the game. And I would imagine if he plays well tonight, which if he, if he gets any game time, which I doubt, um, but even still, he's a shoo in for a right mid card. And it's going to be quite a cheap position change, I would say. Next is Mario Mandzukic guys, he was very very impressive for Croatia, buying himself a hat-trick in the first night game and then a goal in the Sunday night game. So four goals, kind of a shoo-in on that. And then next is Lewandowski guys, he got himself a hat-trick, one of them being a penalty though, but to be honest I would say this is kind of a guaranteed card and will look very very nice, potentially the first of many um, in form of this FIFA. And obviously, round off the starting 11 guys, striker Ronaldo, bagged himself 4 goals in the 6-0 win on the Friday night game, and then 1 goal on the Monday night game, which was also 6-0, and he was just kind of dominant throughout, and it seems like Ronaldo has returned. So going on to the bench guys, and reserves, we have Glenn Morris of Crawley Town. He got himself a penalty save, and also made 2 saves. There's also a potential of one of the goals in the Serie B that might sneak in. But I think Morris is potentially the safer shout. Carry Anderson is next. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 3 2 win for Iceland. This would be a very impressive card. And I would say if you've tried his I Man of the Match card in 16, you'll know how overpowered it was, and this will be no different. Sonny Bradley, he got himself, surprisingly, two goals and a 2 1 win for Plymouth, and will be a very popular card. If uh, Byface, the FIFA YouTuber and streamer, this will be one card he will sought for badly. Molino bagged himself a hat trick at Cam, guys. This will be a very expensive card for the Silvers, and I think this could be the potential first of many for him in FIFA 17. Finally, um, uh, next is Carl Shepard, who bagged himself four assists, which would be something else to say the least. How can you get four assists and not score yourself at some doing? This is going to be an overpowered bronze card and I will look forward to owning it. Stan Q is another option. He got himself some impressive performances for Romania with a goal and two assists in 5-0 win on Saturday game. And I would say it could be a really all-round balanced silver card. Kyle, uh, Kyle Lafferty is potentially going to get an inform. He got himself 
he came off the bench guys and bagged himself some really solid performance for Northern Ireland where he bagged himself two goals and assists in the 4-0 no win over San Marino looks an ok card and hopefully gets closer to that 70 pace next is um, Tomer Hemed who got two goals and a 2-1 win and then a goal for them in the other game that they had so three goals collectively and I would say this is a shoe-in and would be a nice championship goal uh, silver James McLean he might be the other um, shout for Republic of Ireland to get uh, in form this one James McLean got himself two goals in the 3-1 win on the Sunday game and would be a very impressive but also very popular silver card Andre Silver bagged himself a hat-trick seems to me that um, Portugal were just absolutely dominant over the weekend um, over the two games and this card would be an absolute beastly card to say the least Kevin Gamero is potentially one of these cards that may happen may not happen but he got himself two goals in the 4-1 win over Bulgaria and last but not least guys we could have the first record breaker card of FIFA 17 Christian Benteke bagged himself a hat-trick and one assist in the 6-0 win over Gibraltar he scored the fastest goal in qualifying which is 7 seconds and I honestly think a record breaker card is coming and it's going to be around a 4 rated. I genuinely think it could be a very boostly upgrade. All in all guys, a very tasty team of the week. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and remember to sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Take it easy guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you all later.